Welcome back to Let's Play Room Factory. I'm the Black Button Ninja, and last time we pretty much just went mining. Anyway, I'm gonna get that out of the way. Anyway, it is holiday. That was R. <laughs> oh, jeez. By expecting, most places are not gonna be open. I think the only really real place that's going to be open today is the bathhouse. Also, something I forgot to note yesterday: when you, when it's raining, most businesses tend to be closed or not really closed. Is they just don't want to work. No, scratch that. Not most businesses. The uh, blacksmith. I was thinking of to help two towns there. Because for some reason, people don't work when it's raining. Except for the guy who runs the flower shop. And sometimes the stores that sell, like, items and stuff. Okay. Seems that we got a more reasonable amount of wood... That was still the wrong button. No, that was the right button. I just hit the B button first. Alright. So anyway. Get all this wood. Also. Probably if you're wondering. I cannot break these logs yet. I need, a, I need to upgrade this at least once in order to break those. So this may be one of the things you may want to upgrade first, unless if you plan on raising a lot of crops. Then you may want to go with the um, watery cannon hoe first. What I'm thinking about powering up first is the watering cannon, then probably go for the axe. Then go towards my hoe, then hammer. And... You only really... Yeah, fishing pole, and then the sickle. Because we really have no use for the sickle, and it's mainly used for one thing. Alright. I'm not going to make most of the episode based around just me hitting a hammer against rock. I am just getting these, because we could really use more of the ore. And we're not really getting any ore. We're just getting garbage. Because I don't want to stay here forever. Because every recall last holiday, we met Ivan for the first time. And he seemed to be selling some stuff. Like a fridge in a kitchen. Maybe I can get something off him today. I don't know what. I really don't know what, actually. <laughs> it seems pretty much to be random of what he sells, but it does have a bit of a pattern to it. I haven't figured it out. It basically just randomized the time to time. Oop. Oh, wait. Some wood. Yeah, that's a bit of grass for that little 6x3 area. Okay. I seriously just ran out of water already. Okay. I think I got more water, I hope. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You, he has to do, like, the entire animation? That's bull. All right. 
We got water this time, and we're gonna have to go back to go get some more because I know this ain't gonna be enough water and water this entire patch of soil. That's why I want to get this upgrade first. Because honestly, this is really stupid. To go like running back the rest of my life to fill a can of. Also, another complaint I have this game is that the RP goes down way too fast in this game. I mean, honestly, I think the best in the series was the third one, but this was honestly my favorite out of the ones I played. I have not played Frontier. It's the only one I haven't played. Which I'm really sad. What am I doing? I can just teleport. Why rock when you can just teleport? Alright, that is not a run button. Got a little choppy there. Alright. So. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna. No, actually, we are going to get quite a bit because we shipped the silver like last night. That was after shipping hours, so we are gonna get that money today. Go visit I with Eisen. I forgot who Eisen was. I I don't remember from what game or anime. Hey, I'm taking Bleach. Oh, we're good. Hi, we're good now. It's a lot of fun walking from country to country. You see, he has. He has a mayonnaise maker, a cheese maker, a yogurt maker, seed maker, a wool maker. That's it. I want to see how much the seed maker is. A thousand. That seed maker we can actually use. What you do with that is you put, like, when you get a crop. Oh, yeah, this is what they do. <laughs> Uh, all day. What you do with the crops is you put it in there and it puts your crop and generates it into seeds. Why is that good? Because like with the green fire, if you remember, you can only really use it once. So like you can get like a level two crop and then put it in there and then you get like a level two crop seed. And that's like one of the two ways you can raise the level. The other one trading it back and forth with that shell. Which is annoying. Because I'm going to get really mad if Ness gets married first. Oh, that's funny because in the first, my first playthrough of this game, I did marry Mist. Uh, she didn't seem to be mad about it then. I actually forgot she says that. <laughs> I wonder if Laura's up here? I think you can also get something. No, I'm thinking of another game. I'm thinking of Room Factory 2. Because this looks like... It looks very similar to a house in Room Factory 2. Alright. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, Room Factory 2 plays a lot like this game. Game. Where is everyone? That boy's not here. Wait, they only. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was wondering where is the path asleep? Cause I thought it was just the one bed in there. Oh, I know where Tapeth is. Hello. I'll show that off. Hello. I love big cook-off. I love the big cook-off we have here every year. I wonder why. 
Sorry if that sounded rooted. <laughs> rooted. There's nothing appealing about this park, eh? What if I got a statue of me put up here? Put up. Good idea, eh? No. Sounds bad. What well, I need to make this town a better place for everyone living. Alright. Alright, Gore. You're around, aren't you, Laguna? It's good to see that you're in such good health. Also, note. Not that. Uh, Lord! Oh, that's the library. No wonder I can't get in. Really? Oh, it's past hours. Yeah, pretty much you can go here any day. Like, I forgot about the hours. I thought it was just gonna be like closed till three, open till three. I think this town has the strongest booze. I defy anyone to take me on a drinking match. Ha ha ha! Apparently, never been to Canada. Or I guess Australia too, because they do have like those big beers. But I do know for sure that the beer in Canada is supposed to be stronger than it is in America. Well, I'm feeling overworked. Sometimes I feel like to come to this kind of place. Ha ha ha. They seem to be drinking buddies. Oh, poet. People show their true selves in a place like this. It's a great place for watching others. Don't come near me. Oh yeah, end's always open. Not like every hour. But, like, it's gonna be open every day. Also. Oh, wrong button. Never mind. What I was trying to do is I was trying to get, like, the hours since, you know, when it's, like, locked and stuff, you can press A on it. Where does the big shell came from? Actually, that's a good question. Yeah, you can press A on it and then get the hours before opening hours. And pretty much, yeah, get the hours. And I'm pretty sure you can do that because, like I said, with um, I forgot the bartender's name already. You could like get in there before they opened up, just like as a like you're their best friend and stuff. Probably not like their best best friend, but a best friend. Not sure it doesn't. Okay, I believe Mai is up here. Somewhere. Oh sure, Mai was up here somewhere. This is where she where she likes to hang out. And she's not the inn. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Sharon. Sharon! There's something that draws you the Yeah. <laughs> And Tabatha. Come on. Relax here more than anywhere. It looks like the place I came from. Interesting. So you lived on a lily pad? I just noticed these look like the pillars and ruins from like the final dungeon in Room Factory 3. I remember they did that on purpose. I mean, not like they knew how that was going to be by now. Oh. My sister Tori is kind of a dreamer. That's kind of absent-minded, don't you think? Well, you do dream of marrying Mist one day. I can kind of think you'd be on the same page there. Cord. Yeah, I really don't think I've ever read all. I really didn't show up this area. When you walk down here, you go. This is long. 
to a place you can't go to. This is probably where you came from, too. Huh. Doesn't seem like they're good friends. Oh, that only has like the dungeon teleportation spell. There's an other teleportation spell that takes you to your house. Pretty much working the same way, but you have to be outside of a dungeon. You can use those two spells to make really fast transportation. You can also get a mounting monster. And I'll go over those. Although there's only like a couple I really know of you can mount. Hmm. I'm gonna get out and walk around town. Oh, yeah, I guess, I guess church just went out. Went out. Surface is done. He's still here. And I think we can watch her walk. I know she'll leave this spot at some time. Cause she can't be at two places at once. Hold on. Oh, there it goes. I was about to say, that time is not going anywhere. Actually, while I'm here, while walking in fast motion. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Uh, not wrong button, but wrong command sorry wrong choice take a bath I also kind of like the music a bit this one not really example of some of the better music it does have some good music Rune Factory games do have good music mainly 3 and 2 I think the music was the best thing and the best thing about Room Factory 2. Well, maybe story. But I still like the um, music more than the story of Room Factory 2. The game is also quite tedious. If I ever do an LP of this, I'm probably not gonna... Oh yeah, that's right. You don't get it on... So does that mean... Remember what I said I was going to get in today? I was wrong. Okay. Probably what I can do. Probably do some training. I'll be back. Alright, I'm back. I did get one level up, as you can probably see. But that is not why I'm back. There's something happened that I want to show off real quick. Okay, see this treasure chest here? That is a war trophy. What a war trophy is, it is basically an item drop. If you, like, at a, cert, at a set percentage, enemies will drop items just like in normal RPGs. And pick them up to get, like, ingredients and possibly even weapons. Which is great. And I'm poisoned. Uh, I really want that item. Alright. Alright. Well, um, that works better, actually. Oh, did I? I hit this X button. Not X button, but A button. A is set to X. Alright. Let's see what I got. I got insect skin. That is a craftable item. That you... Obviously, fine off of insects, implying how the name goes. And let's see what else. It seems to be 30G. Doesn't seem to be worth anything yet. But I think it's worth holding on to for now. Oh, also, I got sealed again. 
Really need yourself a 200 there. Ooh, iron. Let's run. Anyway, I'll meet you back. Alright, so I'm back. See, I'm pretty beat up. Maybe what you saw, those bees really did quite a number on me. Thing is, I had no problem killing the ants now, because I can kill them with like one combo. Which I'm really amazed by. I mean, I know they're not strong. Still. Those bees are brutal! Alright, so how much I got? Yeah, I got quite a bit more bronze. I only thought I got one. Oh, no, I only got two. That looks like we got the iron we're looking for. So I guess tomorrow, we are going to continue off and then get our, hopefully get our watering can upgrade. This is Black Bud Ninja. I'll see you guys later.